Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm going to be starting off a little mini-series uh, for free-to-play because I've been enjoying flipping in free-to-play so much I decided to make a little series about it. I'm going to see how long it takes me to go from 50 mil to 100 mil. And now I'm going to be flipping only the highest end items in free-to-play uh, which recently have been having really good margins on it. So I'm going to start with 50 mil, uh, flip only like gilded, uh, trimmed armor, uh, hill giant club, some of the more expensive items in free-to-play and see how long it takes me to get to 100 mil. Uh, considering I got like 6 or 7 mil profit in one episode, uh, I don't think it'll take too long. So I hope you guys are uh, stoked for the series and let's get started. Alright guys, so we have 50 mil to start with. Um, we're going to not be uh, limited to 3 offer slots because uh, while I know I'm not totally legit, all it's going to be doing is reducing my progress by 50%. And if you wanted to, you could have multiple free play accounts to get around this anyway. Uh, so we're going to keep this all localized onto one, and then we don't have to make our progress take so much longer. So we're going to start off with the Monk Robe Top G. Uh, as you may have seen in my other flipping video, very expensive item, but can have a really nice margin on it. Uh, so we're going to buy it for about 6.1 mil. I'm going to go for four of those, which will be about half of our cash. Uh, but again, sometimes I have two or 300k margin, even 600k in my last video. So pretty good. Next up, I'm going to try the Gilded Chain Body, which looks actually really promising. It almost has a 100k uh, margin on it right now and um, we might be able to even buy 10 or even 20 of these because they definitely buy and sell a lot quicker and um, if you buy 10 it'll be about 1 mil profit so pretty decent gonna put an offer in for about 658k and um, we'll go for 20 maybe it might be a little bit ambitious though <laughs> and last up is the team cape zero now I'm kind of banking on it rising up a bit more 3745 is um, it's quite a bit lower than it's been in the last uh, day or two so we buy it for um, about 37 and we'll put it in for maybe 3780 or something and it rises up to 4 mil or even more uh, that will be a nice 3 or 400k profit uh, so I think it's worth it in the kind of minor risk so we're going to put it in for 3781k uh, and we'll just use the rest of our money so we'll try for 3 and um, yeah guys we'll come back when uh, these items have sold Alright, so most of the items have sold off. Um, the Gilded Chain Body, we got a 100k margin, and uh, we managed to get 9 of them. 5 of them have sold so far. So on the Gilded Chain Bodies, we got 550k in profit so far. And the Team Cape, we got a 398k margin. So pretty good, almost 1 mil in profit just from those 2 items. Plus we have another 4 Chain Bodies we're selling off right now. So now I think the plan is to just load up the GE with items. So we're going to start off with this Gilded Plate Skirt. Uh, looks like it has a 50k margin on it, which is really good. And uh, I think I'll trade a similar amount to the Gilded Chain Body, uh, which we accidentally searched up. <laughs> Alright, so hopefully we can buy the Gilded Chain Skirt chain skirts for about 321k. And um, maybe pop them in for 370k after they've bought. I uh, will go for 10 of them. Uh, next up, an interesting item is actually the Ceridome and Full Helm. Now this item trades pretty frequently, like probably 10 or 15 an hour or something um, well maybe not quite that much but a lot more than the other items and it looks like I could get a 10 or 15 GP margin GP 15 K margin on it uh, and uh, if we bought like the full buying limits worth which I would assume is maybe around 70 K or 70 my god I can't say anything right uh, but 70 might be a little ambitious but uh, still it's a good margin so we'll probably try for 70 and just see how many we managed to buy uh, another promising item is actually the gilded full helm Looks like it has about a 70k margin on it, and uh, trades a similar amount to the rest of the gilded items. So I mean, even if we spread out our money through all these items, eventually we're going to find something that actually works pretty well. So we'll do 10 gilded full helms at about 592. Uh, next up, we're probably going to try the gilded chain skirt, or chain body again, because uh, it just had such a good margin on it, and it looks like the low price could still be around six, 660 or so. Uh, so we'll try uh, buying them maybe for 666k. Uh, just to curse ourselves a little bit and uh, we'll go for another five or so uh, Another item I've tried a couple times is the team cape X looks like it's actually at a pretty decent low price right now at about 1.6 mil even uh, So I think it could very reasonably raise back up to 1750 in the next couple hours So we'll see if we can snipe a couple at this price uh, You know it looks like 1.6 and uh, we can sell them for 17.5 hopefully or 1750 anyway and uh, yeah, we'll try for 16.06 and we'll go for maybe three or four, or, yeah, we'll go for five, five even, and find one more item. Uh, another decent item that I do a lot is the Hill Giant Club. 
Um, probably 70 or 80k margin on it is pretty common and uh, trades quite frequently compared to the other kind of rare items I'm doing. Uh, so I'll try it for maybe 12, 11 and I go for 10 would be kind of realistic. Uh, but yeah, it looks like I can still get a 50, 60, maybe even 70k margin on each club, which would be pretty nice. And finally, we're going to try maybe the Monk's Robe Top G again. Uh, has a pretty big swing in its price. You can see almost a 700, 800k swing. Uh, so we'll try just to see if we can snipe it for its low price, because uh, that would be very good. A good amount of profit if we could buy it for about 6,400, sell it for 7 mil. Uh, but yeah, we'll just try for one and uh, come back when these items have all bought. Alright guys, so we have most of the offers coming through. Uh, the Gilded Plate Skirt coming in first. I uh, got about 8 of them so far. Buying them for 321. Uh, so we're going to check on GE Tracker what we can sell them for. Now I don't always recommend using GE Tracker if you're using uh, flipping high volume items. You might as well just check them yourself. Uh, but for items like this where they're not traded very much, they're kind of niche items. Uh, GE Tracker has very accurate prices for that because in half an hour there may only be a couple actually sold. Uh, so we might actually get the accurate sell price. Uh, so we bought them for um, 321 and hopefully we can sell them for 400k would be really nice. Not sure if we're going to get that or not. Uh, but yeah, we'll pop them in maybe for somewhere around three, uh, 390 or 3400 exactly or something like that. Uh, we'll go for 389 and uh, yeah, that'll be about seven or 800k on those. Pretty nice. Uh, we did get a Team Cape Zero as well. Uh, I can't remember the price for that, uh, but looks like we can sell it for about 4.1 mil maybe. Uh, not quite 4.1 mil, maybe 4.45 or something like that. Uh, yeah, 4.045, and uh, we'll check the margin after we sell that because I think it's going to be pretty decent. Next up is the Gilded Chain Body. You can see our buy price at the bottom there for it was 6.66, and uh, but it looks like we can actually sell it for 7.68, which is still retaining about a 100k margin on the Gilded Chain Bodies. Uh, which is really nice. That would be 400k in profit. Uh, we might keep that offer in there just because of how lucrative these chain bodies are ending up being. Uh, yeah, we'll probably just leave that buy offer in. Now on to the Hill Giant Club. Okay, so we bought them for 1221, and hopefully we can sell them for. It'd be kind of nice to sell them for closer to 1300. Would actually get us a decent margin. So we might leave those in for a higher price because we are gonna go to sleep pretty soon, and uh, maybe they'll sell overnight. I think like, maybe 1319 might be reasonable and uh, would leave us with a pretty nice margin on the Hill Giant Clubs. Next up, we're probably going to sell the, uh, the uh, Team Cape X, uh, which looks actually pretty high up. So 1778 looks like they one of the last recorded prices. And we bought them for 1606, and that'll be 150k, maybe a little bit more even. And uh, we have two capes to sell, so it'll be a 300k profit. We'll probably just pull the offer out and sell it then, because uh, we probably don't have the proper price anymore, because these buy a little quicker than just two every eight hours. <laughs> Uh, so we'll try for 17.77, and uh, that'll leave us with a nice 300k profit. Okay, so we sold pretty much everything, guys. Uh, the Ceridome and Full Helms we'll start with. We got 12k in each, and we got eight of those, giving us 96k in profit. Uh, I can see right there. Uh, next up, uh, the Team Cape Zero. Uh, we sold one of them for 178k profit. Pretty decent on that as well. The Gilded Chain Body, we got 101k in each one. Now we have, I think, 9 or 10 of them, and uh, we've sold 4 of them so far uh, for a 404k profit, so pretty nice. Um, the Iron Gold Trimmed is uh, another item I decided just to toss in there. We bought them for 1007 and sold them for a 90k margin, giving us 270k on that. The MVP for this is actually the Hill Giant Club, uh, coming in at 108k margin on each one. Uh, we're selling 9 in total, so once those are all sold, it'll be 972k in profit, so really close to a mil. Very good on that item. And uh, the Team Cape X's as well, we got 171k on those, and uh, we got two of those, giving us 342k in profit. In total, we're probably getting close to 1.5, 1.6 mil in profit off of these flips, so really nice and uh, pretty excited to try uh, some of these items again. So to start off, we're gonna put another offer in for the Gilded Chain Body. Been coming in with consistent 100K flips uh, for 666, so it's a little luckier than I thought. So we'll do another 15 of those. Uh, so one item that I did, uh, did try kind of in the background was the Iron Gold Trim Set, uh, which it looks like right now is a 90K margin on it, and they do trade pretty consistently. So if we can actually find the item <laughs> Iron, no. 
Uh, we'll find it eventually, but it looks like it has a 100k margin, and we only bought three of them last time because it looks like the price changed pretty quickly. Uh, the iron trimmed set LG. I uh, know it's iron gold trimmed. There we go. And uh, I think we can buy them for about one mil. Uh, one, yeah, one zero ten, and uh, sell them for about uh, one zero nine nine. Uh, so we'll try buying 10 of these and hopefully we can actually get all 10 this time. Next up, looks like the Team Cape Zero is swinging in price quite a lot. So hopefully we can buy it for the low price of about uh, 3800 or 3900 or so. And uh, maybe sell it for even 4.4 mil. That would be pretty nice. I'm uh, not sure about that, so but we'll definitely we have to give it a try at least. So maybe buy it for about uh, 3950. Uh, let's see here. 3940. And uh, we'll go for a couple of these Team Capes. Uh, but we'll save, uh, eh. Now let's use all our money on this and uh, we'll come back when some of these items have sold. Alright guys, we are back and uh, we have sold pretty much everything off. The gilded plate skirts we did finally sell and we've got a 58k margin on those. Uh, 8 will give us about 544k so very happy with that, especially for the price, that's really good. The iron gold trim set uh, is an 86k margin and 6 of those gives us 516k. Uh, so between the two, that's over 1 mil in profit, so really good for the items especially. And the Hill Giant Clubs that we did sell off as well. Uh, if you recall, it's about a 1 mil profit on those, so pretty nice. Alright, so the first item we're going to do is the Monk's Robe G. I can see it's actually quite cheaper than it has been the last week or so. Uh, so I think we're going to put two offers in, one for the high price and one for the low price. Uh, the high price being about 2030 would still net us about 200k, and the low price being about 1875 would give us about three or 400k on each one. Uh, more than likely we'll just buy it for this price, but still that's pretty decent. And yeah, yeah, we'll put another offer in for about 18.75, and we'll maybe go for three of these. Not sure if we're actually going to buy these or not, but we're going to be gone for a while, so there's a chance at least. Next up here, you can see actually the Rune Armor Set LG, which is a pretty highly traded item. Actually has a really uh, sporadic margin in the last couple hours, and that's probably why GE Tracker picked up on it. Uh, but it looks like we could actually get a 10 or 15k margin on it once we switch worlds at least. So what we're going to do is because the item is going to trade a lot, we can expect to buy quite a few. We're just going to manually check the margin. So we bought it for 159 and we're selling it for 146, uh, which is pretty decent. So we're definitely going to go ahead and buy some of these. Try 146, 500 or so. And um, now GE Tracker says the limit is 30, but uh, we'll test that a bit and maybe go for uh, 50. And yeah, looks pretty promising. Alright, so I think we're going to try this golden chef's hat. I never tried flipping it before, but uh, I don't know. It's another kind of rare item, so we'll give it a shot. Um, buy it for 577k and maybe get a 50k margin in each one. We'll see. And uh, we're going to try the Team Cape X again. Uh, try it for, it's about 666 again. Ooh, not that much. Uh, 1668k, and we'll just try it for 3 or 4 of these. It looks like it has a 100-200k margin, so not bad. And last up, we're going to try the Monk's Robe Top again. It looks like it's gotten way more expensive the last week or two. Uh, but still looks like it could have a really good margin on it. So we'll try buying it for about 7 mil. And exactly around there. And it's risen up almost 600, 700k in the last couple weeks. I wonder if that's because of my video. I don't know. Uh, but we'll try for two of these. And that uh, leaves us with 6 mil. I think that's uh, all we're going to do for now. Alright guys, so the final flips have come in. And I think this is where we're going to end the episode for today. Uh, let's go over our last items and see how much we actually made in the entire episode. Uh, so the Monk's Robe G we sold for a uh, 69k <laughs> margin. Four of those gives us 276k in total, so pretty good. Uh, the Rune Armor sets were a little bit messy. We sold them at two different prices, but in total we got 317k, so pretty good. Uh, the Team Cape X's, we got 79k on each. And uh, three of those gives us 237k. The uh, Monk's Robe Top G, uh, we got 150k in each. Not as much as we were hoping, but still a 300k profit overall. Uh, the Golden Chef's Hat, we didn't get very much on. Only about 60k in total, 15k in each one. And um, we have these Gilded Chain Bodies. Now, the price has changed a bit. They're selling about for 600k right now. Uh, but look at this, we actually managed to snipe one overnight for about 366k. Uh, so we're just going to pull those out for now, and um, I think they should sell still for about 699k. It's just a kind of temporary dip, so we're going to be gone for a while. So hopefully we can sell these uh, while we're gone. So hopefully 700k should be good. Uh, so we take 2796 is what's left in our items and add it to our current cash stack total. Let's see how much we actually made uh, in today's episode. So 53628 plus 2796 is going to leave us with... 56.4 mil, so 6.4 mil in profit. I'm really happy with that. We're well on our way to getting to 100 mil already. Uh, pretty good for an episode. And actually, free-to-play flipping has been better to me than pay-to-pay -pay flipping recently. 
and I uh, hope you guys are enjoying the free play content. If you are, please leave a comment or like, and uh, I will see you guys in the next episode.